Hello, I'm just calling to find out more about your new attractive interest rates on your buy-to-let mortgages. Yeah. No, I don't. Okay. Okay, thanks for your time. Goodbye. When you're thinking about buying an investment property, the mortgage is one of the most important considerations. If you'd like to know my recommended method for finding the best mortgage for your property investment, then stay tuned as I explain how. Hello, I'm Andy Walker from Monopoly.com, where I blog online about my journey as a property investor and landlord, sharing what works for me and what doesn't to help you start or expand your property portfolio. Now, there are plenty of banks and mortgage lenders out there who all have hundreds of mortgage products offering different interest rates, terms and fees, resulting in thousands of mortgages for you to choose from. When I first started, I looked at online comparison tools to find the cheapest product, which I thought would match my needs. After hours of research comparing interest rates and application fees, I then discovered that each product has its own requirements and eligibility criteria once you start the application process. These included the household income, whether I had any other investment properties and a whole host of other factors. It wasn't easy and it took a lot of time. So to save you time, here's what I recommend. Find a mortgage broker. Simple you might be thinking, but no, hold on, don't pick up the phone just yet. I wouldn't recommend any broker, I'd recommend you find a broker with these two qualities. Firstly, someone who specialises in buy-to-let products and not residential or a mixture of both. Why? Because as I've already mentioned, it's a huge market out there and only the brokers that specifically deal with buy-to-let products will have the best knowledge. They have direct contact with the lenders and they have vast amounts of experience with the lenders eligibility criteria. Within a few minutes of asking you some key questions, a broker will be able to match you to suitable lenders. And within just a few days, they'll be able to provide you with some mortgage products for you to choose from. You also want to find a broker who's an investor themselves because they'll have a better understanding of your plan and what you are trying to achieve. I've used three brokers in the last couple of years. One wasn't an investor and two were. The service I received from the two that were investors was far better than the one who wasn't. And not only did they provide me with a product that best suited my needs, but they also shared some sound investment advice about the properties that I was buying. A mortgage broker will receive a commission from the lender for selling you their product, and the broker may also charge you a fee. But don't let this put you off because mortgage brokers work hard and they check all the paperwork to avoid any delays with the application. All correspondence between you and your broker can be sent via email, which makes it super convenient to find a broker anywhere in the country. My broker fees are paid once the lender has released their funds and the property is in my name. I know there are some brokers who charge a fee up front, but they have always put me off and I haven't used them. So how do you find a broker with these qualities? Well, there are several ways and they're typically places where investors are found. Property auctions, property network meetings and social media platforms. Facebook groups are good for connecting with the right people who have backing from some of the group members. I hope you found this video useful and if you have any recommendations on how to find a good mortgage broker then please leave a comment in the box below or head over to monopoly.com forward slash mortgage. Please like and share this video and if you're visiting for the first time please subscribe so you don't miss any of my future videos that are all geared towards helping you start or expand your property business. Thank you for watching, keep up the good work and I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.